did you return of mommy right? Do not panic! I'm fluffy stuffish. welcome 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 it's a new vlog and today we are going to universal studios hollywood you can see we are really hyped we booked our tickets beforehand we booked the express entry tickets we got it to get few pictures and then walk through the entrance or the city walk of hollywood studios if you really enjoyed this video please don't, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel anyways we walked in and luckily for us as we entered the water world show started so that's where we went to Thank you. Tell him, get him, come on, you've got to go. Hey, somebody signal my seat. Huh, well, look at that. I think all my men are dead. So is your boyfriend. Now you see that now? Go. Faster. Oh, wow. Well, I've got a brand new. All right, hon. Show me the way. You don't. Ah. The Water World show ran for about 20 minutes and I believe it's in the upper loft of the Universal Studios. Then after that, we decided to grab some snacks and then tour the entire studio. Now, Universal Studios is divided into two. You have the upper loft and lower loft. The upper loft has Harry Potter, um, The Simpsons, while the lower loft has The Mummy, um, Transformers and all of that. So we got there and decided to take the mummy ride and honestly i really 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 love the ride 
after each video you see myself and my sister give you guys a review of each ride we went through just our honest opinion so i want you guys to just relax and enjoy Son of the mommy ride yeah and it was like two minutes this express entry so we didn't have to queue for long yeah but it was fast it was intense we're upside down we're screaming i closed my eyes because i'm like why did i why did i do this why was it go like you guys should do it yeah definitely 10 out of 10 excellent ride very fast very intense very fast your hair is secure yes Keep your phone, no glasses, nothing. Yeah. All right, all right. Our next stop is a Jurassic World ride. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for recording. Yeah. 
Hello. Uh, so we just finished the Jurassic World ride. Okay, I'm showing them. <laughs> yeah, we just finished that, and it started out slow, like there's water. So make sure if you are, if you sit in front, you're going to get wet. We sat on, on the last room. She got sprayed oh, on at the last. You can't really see it's dry now. Yeah, but she got sprayed on at the last point. So it starts off really slow, and then at the last point, it dips and goes up. So. Yeah. Just brace yourself for that. But it was really yeah. good. It was like five, five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, five, five minutes. It felt like it was a, it was a chiller, um, ride to start. Not as many twists and turns as the mummy. Mm hmm And, uh, but still a good show. Like you can see like the dinosaurs underwater, yeah. above water. It, yeah. It was a good show. And good we did have to queue because we had express entry. Express you guys get express entry because queuing coming at crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Queuing is crazy because we have like seven to five minutes wait time for a lot of the rides. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, where is I helped the man of North deliver squishmallows on Christmas. <laughs> and fluffy stuffies. A lot of girls as well. Laboratories. <laughs> is that you, Star Wars? Yeah, it's me. Well, I'm sure it was for your own sake. Hi, guys. So we just That's finished the Transformers. Transformers ride, and it was pretty nice. We gave us like 3D glasses and. So, so they start out like, you know, people are like an army kids. And so they start up a vibe, right? Like, hustle, hustle, hustle. They give you your glasses, you see the chair, and then you, you start with the ride. And, you know, you see the Transformers, you know, Bumblebee, like Bumblebee, Bumblebee and the crime, as well as fighting. the villains, like fighting. And, um, the TV the, effect is really TV cool because, cool. like, it's tired, like, feel right to my face. I'm like, oh shit. Like it's, it's yeah, really like they're shooting you and, and you know, you're dropping, you're rising, you're shaking. Yeah, um, because it's the right good balance. Good, yeah, yeah. Um, as far as favorites, Kyle King is a favorite yeah, so far. My favorite. How about you? I, I agree. I, I agree. My okay. so far. After this one, um, I think the mummy was really the good. Mummy? The mummy was. Oh yeah, this was like five minutes. Yeah, probably five minutes. Yeah. Um, the mummy was like maybe two minutes, but was action pants. Pan. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Jurassic World was really fun, but I still say I think this one needs Jurassic World a little bit. Yeah, I think it's the right balance with it's like medium pace, yeah, and it has highs and lows. Like you go down, you go up, but it's not as crazy as um, as the mummy. And and then the thing with Jurassic World is that it starts off really slow. This is start up. This one didn't start up. Just normal pace. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one. <laughs> now guys we are still in the lower loft where we've done the mummy jurassic world and transformers now we're at super nintendo world now super nintendo world is one of the most beautiful places i've ever seen like the colors everything came to life like the colors were bright and vibrant as you guys can see and there were a lot of people like the queues were crazy we tried to inquire whether we could use our express entry but apparently express entry cards will not grant you access or fast track in super nintendo world so you had to queue like every other person which honestly i was not going to do because i've not necessarily played a lot of super nintendo in my lifetime so i was fine skipping this if you're a huge fan i would advise first come to super nintendo world before you start going through the other rides so that you can get ahead of the queues but if you would ask me my ideal itinerary for someone like me go in do the rides in the lower lofts and then go to the upper loft if you love super nintendo world start at super nintendo world first do the lower loft and then go to the upper loft <laughs> <laughs> next stop is crusty land that's for the same scenes and honestly just watch and see our review of the ride hi 
Hi guys, so we just finished the Simpsons, Simpsons Cross right? Cross Sealand. And so the way it works is that first of all, the queue was long. Even the express queue, we had to, wait. A little bit longer, we had to yeah. wait for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Then we entered, we were like, oh, they'll play a safety video. After that, we all sat down and then it's like, 3D screen projections and the cards or the chairs or whatever are moving. So that's just it. But the, the, the screens make you think you are going down or you are going up or you are reversing. The chairs are also moving, but I don't think they're not actually making, making those dead drops and all of that. I mean, a lot of people in their um, reviews say that this is a little underwhelming, and I can see that. Like, to be a little underwhelming. But it's still okay. Not one of my favorite rides. How yeah. about you? Yeah. I would say so far it's ranking well. It's not bad, you know? I mean, you've already paid entry to the Universal. You can't do it. If, do you, it. if you're paying general admission, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say stand in line for this. Yeah. yeah. All right, to the next ride. <laughs> the next stop is the studio tour, and it takes an hour. So we queued, we got into like a bus, and then they took us around the studio, showing us different sets, the cars, and it was quite interesting. But it was really, really long. The studio tour also had like the Fast and Furious ride and king kong ride also included so i just said to show you guys some clips of it i couldn't get clips of the ride but yeah we are entering an area we call courthouse square you all know it better as well than i wait for the back to the future films starring michael j fox and christopher Lloyd. so if you look at the building that's to your left then you look at the building that's on your screens it does look a little Jurassic World, you will definitely recognize the Jurassic World. Uh-huh. Yeah, but Just saw do still have the engines in them and are still drivable. Last is the same one that took over and opened the fall. They do keep some dinosaurs. Just looks like a junkyard. <laughs> so that mobile light didn't we pass back there. I said it dangled over a cliff. Oh, look at the uh -huh.
So these guys back there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it looks looks like somebody's going for the full collection, but I don't think it's the guy next door because the guy next door is a psycho. The window? Are you seeing the guy carrying the woman? No. You're just missing the whole thing. Where? Over there. I can't see it. Okay, down here. Uh oh. Okay, we're going back on the Superman. We're going. 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 We're going.
after the Hogwarts castle we tried to do the forbidden journey and let me just tell you guys i couldn't take the ride we went there we queued we were on the express entry line which was obviously faster but i couldn't fit in the chair like so the chair was supposed to close it had like this barrier to close that comes from the top and it obviously didn't fit and i couldn't take the ride so my sister went on the ride without me but inside the castle or inside wherever we were queuing for the stuff was very nice it had all the moving pictures and it was honestly very very pretty silent during this complicated process. Now, I sense a very powerful magic, and it is coming from... You! Uh, yes, please step into the lights, let me see you. Tell me, what is your name? Axel. Axel. Tell me, Axel, when you write your name, do you use your right or left hand? That's also going to be your fault. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys. So we just finished the Harry Potter 
section or of, world or whatever of the of Universal Studios, and there were there are three main there are four main events. There's the Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. There is, is, that, is that what it's called? Something like that. Yes. Okay. Harry Potter and the Forbidden <laughs> Journey. There's the flight of the hippogriff, hippogriff yeah. and there's Ollivander's wand, and then there's a light display on at the castle, at Hogwarts, Hogwarts Castle. castle. The light display was beautiful. beautiful. And I didn't get to do the Harry Potter Forbidden oh Journey because yeah. the seats didn't fit. Look. I don't know over, why. Over <laughs> anyway, but, you do what she I did. did it, and it, it's the best ride on the Harry Potter um, circuit. It's, it was really good. Um, you're in, you kind of have front row seats. Everyone has front row seats. And it, I, I think it lasted maybe three minutes somewhere around there and you essentially are following harry potter as he's flying through the um you know harry potter universe and you know there are bad things happening and he's saving you and stuff it's pretty cool yeah then the hippogriff was just a roller coaster less than a minute or a minute no, it was a, like it probably was less than a minute it was very quick, very quick. It, was, it was fun but it was, really hard, but it was really quick and then Ollivander's wand was like a magic show. So they take you to a room and they there's a, to pick a yeah. wand and then you try the one master like Ollivander and in our group you selected a young like a kid and tried to get him to find uh, or discover his own wand. So he tried a few wands and then did some tricks with, with the yeah, wand. Yeah, so so similar to the yeah. way to how it was when Ari picked his wand. Yeah. In part one um, of, yeah, the, uh, of the first movie, yeah. And then we had some butter beer. Show them our butter beer. Yeah. It's really good. Oh. Delicious. Very creamy. It's not alcoholic, obviously, but delicious. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that's it. It's beautiful here. It's stunning. Yeah, with it's the stunning. lights. At and night. I, I don't even know how people do this during the day. I think, I mean, obviously, I don't have anything to compare it to, but the night experience is definitely top notch. Okay. Thanks for your review. Bye. <laughs> the next and final section we went to was the Grinch Christmas section. Now, again, we went there on like the last day of 2023. So, as we're leaving, people were actually coming in. I think they had a New Year's show or something. We went to watch the, Grin the Grinch's Christmas, and it was actually very nice. They, they put on a show, they sang, they danced. <laughs> I took it to Crumpet, and that's where I hit it. <gasps> oh no, I'm rhyming! <laughs> I took all your Christmas, you have me, it's true. But with its feeling inside, I brought it all back to you. <laughs> Now this brings the entire Universal Studios Hollywood tour to an end. It was fun. It was packed. I don't think I've had this much fun in a while. 
it was my, my heart was pumping made me feel like a kid again and i really enjoyed every every moment of this trip and you guys should go also whenever you get the time you can go in spring can go anytime any time of the year they have stuff going on thanks a lot for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel bye